So you're buying a home and your home inspector says that a piece of equipment is aging or older than its useful service life or something along those lines. What does that mean to you as a buyer? And, you know, can you, should you uh, try to negotiate for a replacement? I'm going to answer that question for you here. My name is Nathan Thornberry. I'm one of the foremost experts in real estate and throughout the U.S. Uh, and in my service contract business, I was involved in uh, as many as 160,000 real estate transactions, residential real estate transactions per month with our service contracts. Um, I grew up in a home inspection family, a, a part of a real estate family. And so we were very involved in these issues. And let me tell you how this works. When you look at a home, you know what you see, you know what's been disclosed, you know what's been permitted, you might have a, a background, you can actually pull a background on a house. And if you look at a house and let's say that it has an olive green dishwasher from the 70s, that works great. And you see it and you know it's there and it was in the pictures in the listing and you walk through with your real estate agent and then you put in an offer on the house, that is the moment at which you can say, hey, here's your you know, half a million dollar offer for this house or 200,000 or $2 million offer or whatever it is. And we're willing to pay X amount of dollars and we want you to install a new dishwasher. It, it, that's the time that you can ask for it. Because later on, when the inspector says, oh, here's this thing that's beyond its useful service life, that is not a defect. That is not anything that qualifies under any real estate contract in any of the templates in North America, I say North America, throughout the US and Canada, uh, as a justification or reason under the home inspection contingencies to say, oh, here's a reason for me to stop the deal. You can say, my inspector found a problem with it. If it's older, you can certainly opt to have an, a, a service technician look at it but the home inspector is the objective source. Once you bring in a service contractor, most of them are going to try to sell a new unit. So they're going to uh, you know, talk in circles about how it needs to be replaced. And you know, I mean, it's a form of fraud when you think about it. In fact, it is, uh, which is why I would highly recommend a, a service contract. Look at my other video that I just posted on the same date as this one. Um, it's in the same playlist because uh, you know, you can save a lot of money with service contracts potentially, especially if you use them right. But, but, but let's go back to this issue. So if, if you walk by a dishwasher and it's olive green, it's from the seventies and it works fine and you don't say anything about it until you have the inspection. And then you decide to say to the seller, Hey, um, we want you to replace that thing cause it's ugly and it's old. Well, ugly and old is something you were aware of or should have been when you made the offer. Now, this also applies to equipment like HVAC equipment and water heater equipment, unless it's completely hidden, unless, it, it, unless you had no practical way to know that it was older and it's a true surprise, then you can ask for defects. But under the strict letter of the contract, you have no right to ask for an upgrade or a new unit or, or any repairs to things that don't need a repair. Um, you can ask for it still, but the, uh, the seller has no obligation and shouldn't, uh, unless there's some really exceptional circumstance, shouldn't be, um, uh, obliged to, to give you a new unit. So keep that in mind. And, uh, and if you really want to save yourself from this issue in the future, if you're watching this in regret, uh, I hope you're not, I hope you, hope you watch this ahead of time, but in the future, just you know, pull the model number, model tag uh, off of equipment as you go through the house or look at it, you know, and if it looks older and if you want to want to make sure you have new equipment, well, make that part of your offer. That's the time to negotiate it. And if your real estate agent is suggesting that you negotiate this later, um, I I'm sorry, they don't know as much as I do. And I'm not afraid to say that I'm not very humble. But if there's if there's also I'm, you know, factually correct. But if there's, if there's another factor involved, then great, ask for it. But realize that there's a downside risk of losing your deposit and earnest money because the sellers don't owe you that. That's the fact. Sorry. My name is Nathan Thornberry. Visit my website, nathan.tv.